Hello, hello everybody. My name is Ryan. I'm here with my buddy Aaron. Still here. We're about to change outfits real quick because I just realized that I never did an intro for this food vlog. So that's what we're doing today. We're going around trying a bunch of different things. Some of these things you have recommended to us. Some of these things are things that Aaron has recommended to me. Other things are things that we're just finding as we go. So we got three foods that we're gonna try and can't wait to show them to you. But first, we gotta go back, way back. Like back to yesterday because that's where the first one takes place. So we will see you there. Stop one on the food vlog is Pecos Bills. Aaron got nachos with a lot of things on it. What did you get? I don't, I don't even know what you got on it. I put too much onion. Too much onion. I didn't mean to, but I love onion. We'll find out. Extra cheese and uh, lime, lime or two, and some salsa on top. Beef Amazing. Nachos. Amazing. And then Abby got the same thing the beef nachos with other stuff on top. Yeah. Lettuce, cheese. That's about it. Okay, so okay, cool. Then I got the taco trio because I love Mexican food and I'm so pumped for this. I got all beef tacos with lettuce and cheese on top. But I haven't eaten in Pecos Bills, which is in Frontierland Magic Kingdom in a long time. So I'm super excited to be home and I'm super excited to eat this food. Alright, let's give it a try. Not bad. I like it. Should have started filming after I finished eating. I'm an amateur. So I've had a lot of tacos in my day because if you guys know, I've talked about it before, they're my favorite food. These are pretty good. They're not as good as homemade ones, but like the beef is really good and that's what makes it. The cheddar sprinkle on cheese is really good. So I give Pecos a really good rating because it's just very good. What do you guys think of your nachos? Nachos! <laughs> These Nacho are, cheese. These are the Lord's cheese. <laughs> Encarnacion. That's all I know from the movie. So does that mean they're good? <laughs> they're really good. They're really good. I like the I like the beef and the queso is really good. Um, I added the salsa to it, which I think gives it a good extra flavor. But that's because I like wet salsa. So, I, mean, I don't know if it's called wet salsa. That sounds wet really salsa. Weird. Wet salsa. I like my salsa more liquidy and on a mild side, like a very spicy. Kind of. Okay, fair enough. Would you recommend to ten of your friends? If I had ten friends. Yes. Oh my god, me. <laughs> yeah, I love Pecos Bills. It makes it, it makes it really unique because there's that topping bar. So you can Definitely. get something simple and then add stuff to it. Yeah, I meant to talk about the toppings bar. It's like, that's what makes Restaurant a source really good. And I think that's what makes Pecos Bills really good too because you get to customize your food. Like they give you like the bare essentials. So when I ordered the tacos, all I got was the shell because I fling taco everywhere. All I got was the shell and the beef that was inside and then you put whatever you want on top of it from the toppings bar. So here's the Pecos Bills topping bar. You've got a lot of options to choose from to like put it on your food. And so once you get your food, you just come right over here and put whatever you want on it. It makes the food really customizable and you can make it your own. Put whatever you want on there and enjoy it the way you want to enjoy it. Which is what I really like about this restaurant, I think. I agree. <laughs> the aftermath. We devoured our food. It was amazing. I would recommend to all my friends. So. Pecos Bills, Frontierland, Magic Kingdom. We got the nachos and the tacos. We know those two are good. We'll have to come back for some other stuff later on, but I'd say this was a success. Aaron and I stopped by the Bauern, Bauern Mar Merkt. The Bauern Merkt. Ah, I'm butchering that name so hard. If anyone's from Germany, please correct me on my pronunciation. Send me an angry video. Yeah, definitely send me an angry <laughs> video where you correct me. So Aaron and I, Stopped at the Germany Pavilion for Flower and Garden, trying my first Flower and Garden food for the first time ever. We both got toasted pretzel bread. Oh, it's cheese! Yeah, with cheese on top. I thought it was a sauerkraut. Oh, cheese on top. And uh, baked ham, and my hair's in my face. All right, so welcome to stop two on the food vlog. We got the correct pronunciation of it, Bauernmarkt, in the Germany Pavilion for the Flower and Garden Festival food stand. A shout out to Martin for telling us the correct pronunciation so we don't look like fools of ourselves, and uh, for also giving us massive waters. Instead of little tiny free ones, we yeah. got big free ones. We got big free ones. Dude. It's never too late to hydrate. And we got the toasted pretzel bun. It's got cheese and baked ham on it, I believe. It's like a toasted pretzel bun. Uh, we came over to Italy to eat it, and Aaron, we're supposed to review it together. What are you doing? The German in my blood is hungry. Oh my gosh. So we're in Italy, we're gonna eat our German food. We've been all over Europe today. Let's take a bite, even though Aaron already ate his. Mm. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> this is quality too. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really good. The yeah, what do you think? The pretzel is very like lightly salted, but enough that it's got a good salted taste. Yeah. I like that. 
It's also light and fluffy. Yeah, like not hard and crunchy, crunchy like some pretzels are. And the ham is very, it's kind of sweet. You think it's a little sweet? I think the ham and the cheese are both very sweet. Yeah, and that makes it better because it brings out the saltiness. I like it. This is very good. It's only five dollars. Yeah, this is the first time I'm finally trying food at Flower Garden. Like I said, I've been going to like for a year now, and I finally got the chance to. I, even though this is the first time I've, I've done it, highly recommend the Jeremy Pavilion toasted pretzel bun. Pretty much have recommended all the food that I do on my food blogs because Disney makes really good food. But that's a good thing because I've never found like a bad food on a food blog. That's good, yeah! That's good. Hopefully that day will never come, but highly recommend it. If you guys did not know it existed, Flower and Mart, Flower and Garden, uh, it's gonna be here till May. Hopefully they bring this food back next Flower and Garden Festival. Don't know, because sometimes they change out the foods, but yep. this was really good. Shut up, bro! <laughs> That's gonna be the credits for your video. <laughs> we changed outfits again. We're on stop number three for the food vlog. Welcome to Deluxe Burger. Here at Disney Springs, this is my first time eating here. You've been here before. I love Deluxe Burger. All right, most of these food vlogs are things Aaron's done before or recommends or whatever, and then I come and do them, but. If I want Ryan to try it, it's a vlog. So we got a menu here. They've got all kinds of different burgers here. Duo burgers, I'm not even really sure what, you choose two, oh, you choose two. They've got deals. Yeah, they're deals. Okay, and then you got fries, kids menu. And then on the back here, you've got some desserts, non-alcoholic shakes, alcoholic shakes, I guess and then alcoholic beverages and stuff. Cool, gonna have to come back here and get a shake or go over to Planet Hollywood, which is somewhere over, somewhere else, and do some shakes over there. But Aaron and I have both been looking at this barbecue burger, which sounds really interesting to both of us, and it sounds very good. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. It's in a nice little secluded area. They've got a few tables outside, as well as under there over the porch, or over there under the porch. We've got some tables over there. It's a very nice place to sit outside and relax. They have some indoor seating as well. We'll take you inside in just a minute. You ready, Aaron? I'm ready to go. It's pretty in here. Yes. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. You can see the kitchen at the pickup window. Oh, so, look at that burger, it looks so good. And you got your sauce choices here for your dipping sauce for your fries. Our table overlooks this beautiful little area of water here. I don't want to call it a river, I don't want to call it a pond, I'm not really sure what it is, it's just water. It's a spring. A Disney spring. This is why I can't be a vlogger. Our table overlooks the beautiful Disney spring, as well as some of the other buildings in Disney Springs, and it's just very peaceful and relaxing out here. And we're sitting on the outdoor porch. It's really, really warm out today, really nice blue. A little bit of a cool breeze every now and then. It feels really good to sit out here. So Aaron and I both got the barbecue burger. We got our food. It comes with the burger, an onion ring, bacon, grilled onions, uh, barbecue sauce, and smoked Gouda cheese, and then lettuce on the bottom. And then the bun, obviously. Looks super good. Horrible, horrible job filming. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. The squirrel wants my food. Whoa, he's climbing my chair, that's crazy. This is good entertainment. That's what I thought, Mr. Squirrel. Aaron and I did the ultimate duo combo deal, which is you get two specialty burgers and a regular fry, this is the regular fry size, along with drinks. And you get your choice of dipping sauces for the fries. I got garlic ranch, Aaron got garlic ranch, and I also got curry ketchup. So we're gonna try these. Um, and the sauces are free of charge. You don't, you don't have to pay extra for those, which is really good. Really good. And the price of all of this, drinks, sauces, fries, and burgers, is $28.99. So that's not too bad. If you're coming with multiple people, the deals here are pretty good. So definitely look into those before you order separately because the deals might end up having you save money rather than spend more of it without knowing if you buy the individual meals. Action. All right, we're gonna give this a try now. Oh my God, there's a lot of stuff on here. I'm excited. I was trying to take a big bite to get all that stuff on it. Take a massive bite. A little bit of chewing later. Oh, my onion ring fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> the first bite I took was mostly burgers, so now I'm gonna get one with uh, the actual toppings in it. Ooh, that's really good barbecue sauce. And that's the first thing I noticed right off the bat. It's really sweet. And the bacon in there. This is really good. I usually don't really like onion rings on my burgers. This one wasn't bad, but for some reason, when always, whenever I get onion rings, I bite it, and then all the onion comes out. So I just get one big long piece of onion, and then just the fry part left. You know what that makes you? 
Just like everyone else. <laughs> Look, the same thing's happening. Just like everyone else. But I got barbecue sauce leaking everywhere. Okay. Mmm, saucy. Saucy. I would say of uh, all the burgers I've had in my life, this isn't in and out but this show ah, is really true. deluxe. <laughs> I have to say, I think the best burger I've ever had at Walt Disney World, and possibly I've ever had ever, is at Geyser Point Bar and Grill at Wilderness Lodge. That is a super good restaurant, makes incredible burgers. I will say, these are very good. These are close second, if not tying with it. I got my burger cooked well done, and even, even when with the well done burger, it's still super juicy. All the toppings really bring out the flavor of the burger and really complement it. And it's honestly the best way to describe it is it's a super deluxe burger. I have to try the fries though. Yeah, just like straight. Just Tilt the camera? What do you want me to do, Ryan? Now we're gonna try the fries. So I got two sauces here. There are several others to choose from inside. But I'm gonna try the curry ketchup first. It smells good. Oh, it smells familiar. It smells sweet almost. Yeah. It tastes like sweet ketchup. It's good. Well, now, is the garlic ranch better? Ooh, that's good. There's a lot of garlic in it, like a lot. And I know that's kind of the name of it. It's not bad though, it's not bad. If you like creamy sauces, I'd go for this one. Um, this one's a little bit more watery, but it's very good. The fries are a little bit cold, but I think that's because we sat outside for a minute, like a while before we actually started eating them. I think if I ate the fries first, they'd still be warm. I, I love this restaurant already. It's super good, Aaron. The fries were hot when they got here. The fries were hot, Aaron, yep. Aaron had one. I ate while Ryan wasn't here. Yeah but super good. The burger isn't, do I have sauce on my lip? A little bit. Yeah. Right there. Now you got, <laughs> good. The burger isn't just well, it's mmm well. Manuel, relay instructions. Tried some of the curry yeah. ketchup. I've never tried this before. It is good, I don't think it tastes like ketchup. It tastes like curry. Yeah. Which is really unique. But it's kind of sweet too, right? It's got a little bit of a sweet flavor. Yeah. With also a little bit of like, the slight spice, it's not too hot. If you if you don't like spicy food, I think this is still safe. And it does still have good flavor. Yeah. I think a lot of times with spicy, you sometimes risk losing flavor to get really hot. Exactly. That's really good. Yeah. I like it. I think a good descriptive word for it is zesty. It's got, it's got a little bit of a kick, but it's not spicy. The aftermath, we're both stuffed. Oh. Super good food. And I ended up liking the garlic sauce much better than I liked the curry sauce. Aaron, we're the same on that front too. I think so, yeah. Next time, uh, we'll try some new sauces. Yeah. All right, so once again, going with the typical theme for all my food vlogs so far, Disney food is great. I have no problems with any of it. I loved Deluxe Burger. Highly recommend it. Would recommend to 10 out of 10 of my friends. Aaron, did you have any last words you wanted to say about Deluxe Burger? Oh, my stomach is so full. <laughs> food coma. It's a good restaurant. I love Deluxe Burger. Great quick service. Yeah. Burger restaurant. Whether you like hamburgers, veggie burgers, Chicken burgers. Definitely. Any kind of burger. Chicken burgers out of your nose. <laughs> Not only was it good food, but it was a great environment too. Highly recommend all three of the things we tried in this vlog. We got the Pecos Bills, we've got the toasted pretzel bun for Flower and Garden at Germany, and we got the deluxe burger, barbecue burger for both of us. We've got a lot more food to try at all those places we visited this trip, as well as other food and new places that we got to go to as well. Leave your suggestions down below in the comments. Please for... leave suggestions, otherwise it's always me saying, hey, yeah. we'll be here, Ryan, I like eating here. Exactly, I don't do a lot of food at Disney, so you guys gotta encourage me to do it, because I don't know why, I just get so caught up in everything else, I don't try a lot of food. So definitely leave your suggestions down in the comments below. You can tweet at me, at that guy ryan 97 Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope your day was just as great as mine was. Hang loose, everyone, and I will see you in the next one.